Hey guys, uh, we're here uh, for this week's Coffee with Numinous with Gracie Zostin, a research training coordinator here at Numinous. Gracie, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So research training coordinator, if I were uh, in an elevator with you and you had you know, a couple of floors to tell me what you do, what, what's the best way to sum that up? Uh, yeah, so essentially I'm working with Numinous to support the psychedelic clinical trials currently going on, um, kind of ensuring that the participants on the studies are safe by making sure that all the research staff are trained up really well to the same standard um, to meet good practice. And um, then, of course, I do, you know, a little bit more logistical things with scheduling makeup sessions and things like that with our learners as well. So kind of a broad range of things. So what are you working on right right now? We're currently training up some clinical research staff um, so that we can start going ahead with uh, the medicine sessions of the trials. Um, but in addition to that, I also post blog posts for Numinous every month or so. Um, and I really kind of work with um, prospective learners to help them decide what the best path is for them with, you know, their training goals. So uh, speaking of learners, do you feel like you have more like clinician type learners who are already in the mental health field or do you have more like um, advocates and enthusiasts who who kind of are looking to bridge that gap? Which would you say you, you come across more in your work? Uh, to be honest, it's a it's a fair mix of both. Um, and I always find it really fun actually to discuss with people who don't have they don't particularly have a mental health background. Like we get people who want to go into personal coaching or things like that, which I find really interesting because um, those are people who come from usually very different backgrounds than mental health. Um, and it's really interesting to see how creative people are with how they're going to incorporate, you know, their knowledge with the knowledge they get from our training. So I find that really interesting. Um, I recently spoke to someone who wanted to go into uh, nutrition and she wanted to learn a little bit more about kind of like how psychedelics would go along with that. Just out of what she's seen in the market, people kind of asking about these things. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of different angles people come from. Um, also, practitioners coming from different states is always different. So I get to learn a lot about like the policies in different states, which is super interesting to me. Um, and we have a lot of international learners as well. So I I love just seeing kind of like where people will take the knowledge they get from Numinous where they go with it and, and what their plans are. It gives me a lot of hope for the future of the, the field. Yeah. We really need that too. We'd hope, we need hope in the field for sure. So uh, I think you just told us, but what's your favorite part about working at Numinous? Um, yeah, talking to the learners or, you know, people looking to, to train, um, especially as someone who is interested in that myself. I feel like I have sort of an insider perspective because I know what it is that I care about in like a training program for this type of work or what I want to do in the future. And I know that Numinous has the, you know, infrastructure and the paths to help people get there and that they're, you know, the, the team is so caring and everyone's such a genuine person, you know, in Numinous that they really care where people are going and will and will kind of do like personalized plans for people, things like that. So I always find it super fun to kind of see where people are coming from and figure out where they can go with what they have, because it's not really like, um, you know, we're not really like other companies or training that might turn someone away if they don't have specific, uh, you know, specific degrees or something like that. So I really find it interesting to see like what people are doing with what they have because, um, you know, as an evolving industry, things could always change even in my job. And I'd love to know like, what are people doing? What it, what's in demand? Um, 
and yeah, again, like I said, it just it, it gives me a lot of hope that the momentum is really there and it's going. I think with the news and things, um, you can sometimes wonder where the field will go. Um, but then talking every day, like I wake up and I see these like really passionate messages from people who want to get involved. And um, I just get filled with like a sense of hope for where things are going because it, it really feels like this is something people are committed to. And I don't think the momentum could stop now. I mean, we had the war on drugs. We had other things that kind of slowed the progress. But I really, really feel like we've kind of broken through to the other side. Um, or we're we're almost there, and I think I think that there's no way you know anyone can stop it now. I think I think there's enough passionate people, there's enough uh, there's enough drive and enough support behind it, and enough people who are really really talented that are looking to like contribute to this field. So it gives me a lot of hope, and yeah, I just like talking to people as well. Love love um, you know getting people's questions, and yeah, I always learn. I think that's great, Gracie. And yet your hope will be infectious, hopefully. We'll see. 2025 is going to be our year. Um, thanks for hanging out this morning, Gracie. And I, um, I always look forward to reading your blog posts uh, when they come through. And uh, we uh, thank you all for watching. And we will see more from Gracie in the future, no doubt. So thanks a lot, Gracie. I'll talk to you soon. Of course.